Want a date? Going out? Frank was so nice. He was, um, he was patient and he was full of energy and he was, uh, I don't think he ever slept. I wonder if he did, maybe a few minutes here and there, but he seems like he never slept. He's just like a, he's like a wind-up toy. He's like, <laughs> very nice, very nice. I think he was almost like at a point where he really had to pick somebody. It was, you know, I think he met a lot of people and there was a lot of pictures on his desk, you know, uh, people sending him pictures with bats taped to it and little sayings on it. I remember him showing me the pictures and I just went in there and he said, you think you can do this? And I said, yeah, definitely. And that was it. He showed me how to make the face. Patty, just make the face like, like you're completely just spazzing out, like, you know. <laughs> and he showed me, and I did it, and that was it. It was, it was simple as that. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was... It took a long time to get into the makeup and a long time to get out of it, but... Um, I, I keep telling them to do a Frankenhooker too. Frankenhooker goes to Mars. Frankenhooker goes surfing. I don't know. It was a lot of fun. It really was. I would definitely do it again. I like the beginning scene in the fat suit because I, I got a chance to speak a little bit and uh, that was fun. A little bit out of makeup, but there was a, a lot of favorite scenes. I like to walk down the street in the big clunky shoes. I like to walk. I like to make the face. The scene where I'm in the car and my head goes back and, and my head falls off and I had to get in the car over and over and, and then get out and walk away or sneak down and walk away and they, they just did it so many times that I started to walk and I just kept walking. <laughs> I was like, hey, come back here. Ah, that was, that was one. When I, when I jumped on the Miracle Whip Man, <laughs> I was so self-conscious. You know what he looks like, no offense, but they had to put foam in his pants and everything and I, I just was very, uh, I never, you know, did anything like that before. And um, it was kind of, uh, it was a new thing. There was always p prostitute parts laying around. There was legs and feet and, you know, all kinds of stuff around, always. There was a couple times Frank got really mad at me for, um, once I showed up, I think I cut and colored my hair a different color. And he got so mad at me. You don't cut and color your hair in the middle of a movie. We gotta fix your hair. Oh, he was unbelievable. He was great. There was a group of people one day and I was in complete makeup with the fishnet stockings and the stitches and everything. And I was on the West Side Highway and I said, wait, wait, let's see, you know, let's see what happens. And I tried to hitchhike. And I walked down a little ways on the West Side Highway and Nobody stopped, nobody beeped, nobody looked twice at me, but it's New York. I probably looked like I belong <laughs> hitchhiking on the West Side Highway. I saved the costume for a long time, and the shoes and the stockings, and little by little, piece by piece, I either threw it out or gave it to somebody, and now all that's left is the wig. Never washed. James was, um, he was funny and you know, it seemed like he was there whenever I wasn't there. We were always there on different days, so I really didn't have much time with them. But the time we did spend together was fun. I, I had fun with James. Gabe was wonderful. I had a lot of fun with Gabe. It was more fun to get in, into the makeup than it was to uh, do anything else. He was really, really fun. He was right here, right here every day with little brushes and powders and everything and I got the biggest crush on him by the end of the movie. I love Gabe. He was so funny and just so, so nice. It took, I think it took Gabe about three hours and sometimes it would be so late, you know, I just wanted to get home so a lot of times I would drive home with the stitches and everything he would give me like a bottle of 
remover. I'd have to poke a hole in the arm and pour it in there <laughs> and work it around and peel it off. But I'd rather just do it home instead of waiting for them to take it all off. And so I, I walked around like that a lot every time just to see somebody's face, just to, uh, you know, I would leave the wig, everything, the, the, the bra with the baby nipples sewn in it. <laughs> oh, it was fun. You know, I was in the makeup and I was on my way home and I was going over the Verrazano Bridge and I put my arm out to pay the toll. And the guy, hey, you know how New Yorkers are. Hey, monster woman, <laughs> with the stitches and gave him the money and just funny. People were funny when they saw the makeup. Some people didn't look twice and others were like completely horrified. It's really fun. I remember the, the head cast though, because there were two little straws and it was so cool. You feel it fill up your eyes and in your ears and everything. And the, you know, it's just very cool. I remember that. And I wonder if Gabe still has my head. And I wish he would put it in a box and mail it to me. Christmas is right around the corner. <gasps> ah, I wonder if he does though. He probably has a lot of that stuff. I went out with Gabe after the movie was all over and had a couple of drinks and gave him a big kiss and a big hug. Two big, three big kisses and a big hug. <laughs> and that's it. That's the last time I ever saw him. We did a couple of uh, promotions. I think one was in Vegas. Yeah, we signed autographs and took pictures together. And James, myself, I think Frank was there. And yeah. Doom Asylum. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Doom Asylum and Frankenhooker. And, and I was really young for that. Um, I was about 18 making Doom Asylum. And it wasn't a real insane asylum in New Jersey. And it had a lot of the old equipment in it. It was really creepy. We put a little extra spray paint on the walls, but uh, it was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I was really, really young. I wish, you know, I should, I wish I could do it now. You know, I was too young for that. I never really want all these great parties and places to go. And I really wasn't too into it, you know. I, I have two little girls here in Florida, and um, I spend all my time with them. They're really young. They're two and four, and that's what I do right now. I did a cell phone commercial not too long ago. This is not, you know, New York. It's Florida, and, you know, I just, I do little things here and there when they come up. A couple months back, I gave him a call out of the clear blue. And I said, Frank, make another movie. Get me out of here. <laughs> One of the hookers lives out here. And, I, and she came over not long ago. She looks really good to Kim Taylor. She was a penthouse pet. She lives in, um, well, she lives here. And she's really nice. She has a lot of parties that I never go to. But I will soon. Oh, enjoy the movie. Can I get the wig? <laughs> How does it look? I need a brush. Wait a minute. And this was the good one. Mm -hmm.